What's happening to our urban sector? My predecessor, who then went on to become the Vice President of India, uh, used a somewhat more uh, grand term, he used to call it the urban renaissance. Uh, being a more modest person, I uh, choose to call it urban rejuvenation, because um, I think um, we are still in the world of facts and figures and what we have been able to achieve. On the housing front, and I am only talking about urban, because if I take the urban and rural, it comes to something like three crore uh, homes having been sanctioned. If you look at the urban part, it's one crore and 12, uh, uh, one crore and 12, one crore, 12 lakhs have been grounded, one crore, 19 lakhs sanctioned, and 75 lakhs have already been delivered to benef beneficiaries. If you look at the Swachh Bharat mission or the sanitation, I don't want to spend more time, but I'll just give you one statistic which should capture it. In 2014, only 17% of the waste that was produced in the urban space was processed, reprocessed scientifically. Today, that 17% figure has gone up to 76%. And uh, I'm very confident, and I say this with my friends from the fourth estate sitting here, we will accomplish 100% before long because the investment in the pipeline, the STPs, and all the other action point in the direction of moving towards 100%. And for a country that produces as much garbage as we do, that's saying a lot. Which does not, of course, take away the responsibility of state governments which have to um, do um, the cleaning of drains and dredging and all this. I'm not getting into that debate for the moment. 